is good, everybody out there? Thanks again for checking in to another episode of Court Thoughts, the channel where we basically talk basketball. I know you see this screen right here, so you know what that means. We're in for another episode of Unplugged. We're still playing NBA Street Volume 2. Volume Dos. All right, let's get into it. So on the last episode, uh, if you guys are still following along, your boy got to Uptown. And you know what? Uptown is one of my favorite levels, just the dynamic of the way that the, the layout of the level is. And so we're still at Uptown. We're still trying to follow along through Uptown and, and finish this out. And then I think, yeah, literally we've just got Rucker Park left uh, as the only level for New York. But we've got a little while before we get there. So let's just get straight into it. So we're eight points out of the 40. Uh, I'm pretty sure we get a couple decent amount of points as we get through the uh, level as well. So let's just jump straight in. We're going to go with stretch. Uh, we're doing stretch. Biggie Little. That's going to be our crew. MJ. That's that 96 era MJ right there too. I'm pretty sure there's like three versions of MJ in this game. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Love that rooftop landscape. All right. Bang it in. Oh, shit. Oh, trying to dive through. Push that. One of the things that I noticed on the last episode was that I wasn't a... Oh, damn. Should have just tried to finish that shit. Um... I was racking up some of the points on the skills, but I wasn't able to stay in front on the points, on the actual game points. So I'm just trying to push the ball up the court uh, and just try and make sure that I keep a good control on the gameplay distance. Hey, yo. Is that Corey McGetty? Ah. Give me that. Woo. Oh. Bro, what happened there? Did someone block it? Honey dip me, bro. Damn. In the honey dip. Oh. Bro, straight strips. Take. Ah. Damn it. One, three. Still all good. Bang on him. Two, three. This is lit. That's that section there where you can see uh, Penny Hardaway. And a lot of people don't realize that dude played at Phoenix. It was his sort of tail end of his career. Hey, yo. Corey McGetty was another one, too, bro. There we go. Nice and easy. 4-4. Four, four. Pretty much neck and neck with the game breaker points as well. There you go. Take, take that. Ah, yo. Come on, man. Give me that. Whee! Ankles. Oh, damn. Long distance. Oh, damn. Trying to get cheeky. That's the only downside we're playing with Biggie Little is that he is little. Making biscuits. Ah, damn. Stripped. Yeah, he, I gotta make sure that I stay in front because now look how many, how much game breaker points that they've racked up now already. Oof. Okay. Victim number two. Long range. Drain that. Yeah, I gotta make sure that I keep a close eye on the game breaker points and still maintain a good level of control. Oh, damn it. Good level of control for the distance of the actual points because you can rack up all the points. Ah, damn, bro. It's getting to another level, bro. I said this on the last episode. It's really it, the difficulty of this is jumped up. 
Damn, bro. This ain't gonna be easy. This ain't gonna be easy. 6 9. Damn, didn't think I was gonna get that. They're trying to hit me with the two. Nine nine. Right, same front. Tight date, bro. What you know about this? Damn, bro. The littlest guy got the rebound, and I still couldn't finish it. Bro, get out of here. Damn, take it. Oh, damn. That's the stuff that's racking their points up, bro. <laughs> I can't just be standing in front. On his head. 10-10. See what I mean? They're, I'm hitting my first level game breaker, and they're getting real close to that second. Let's take that. Pocket that. I'm trying to just really utilize the long range shots and maximize any opportunity that I can to take the ball at their hands, bro. Like taking candy from a baby. Give me that. There we go. Clean up. Clean up crew aisle two. I really don't want him to get that. Ah, it's okay. It's all good <laughs> because that's at least a close range. I didn't want him to hit the long range, so I was trying to put some pressure on him. But damn, bro. 3-2. It's just 8-12. It's all good because I'll hit them with that long range. Gonna make sure that I get it first. Take that. 10, 12. Still racking them points up. Still racking them points up. Ooh. That. Victim one. Give me that. Bang. 12, 12. Still keeping it nice and close now. Nice and easy. Still, see what I mean? I'm just trying to stay control, composed in the game. They're still gonna score, they're still gonna get in. I can't do nothing about that. Except do my best to try and make sure that I can minimize how much damage they hit me with that. Head fake. Take that. Ah, damn. Shouldn't have tried to go for another long range, I think. There we go. Woo! Oh damn, bro! It looked like the animation hit. Damn. 13, 14, but I'm still just right around the corner for that second game breaker. Fourteen, fourteen. Oh, well, they're trying to play smart too. Ah. Get out of here, bro. The Jason Richardson. Two, four. 16-10, see now, we're right near the sort of last little pocket of the game. 
and I feel like I've got a good enough control over the distance of the game. And I should be able to still take this home. Just gotta make sure that I, I don't do anything dumb. There we go, 17-11. Alright, stay in front, stay in front. Trying to watch them screens and long range. Push that. Victim one. Ah, damn it. I was trying to rack them skill points up to hopefully give me enough balance. I'm just keep trying to have a look, even though I'm, I'm pulling it further out to uh, the three, I'm still trying to make sure that I can still keep an eye on what's happening behind, so closest to the bucket. Um, because of the fact that I can't just rely on that long range. There we go, bang! 19-12, keep it nice and simple. Still too far away from that game breaker, which is what I'm really, what I was really worried about is that game breaker. It's not the end. There we go. 2013. That quick rebound sort of idea seems to be the most uh, efficient at trying to get those good quick buckets, but you still gotta still have an eye. Yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, <laughs> shit. 21-15, my man Stretch coming through with the rebound. Damn, bro. Biggie Little, you're making my life hard. <laughs> making my life real difficult. All right, so reputation is still going up. All right, do we want to take anyone from the defeated team? Let's check them out. Ron Artest, Corey Maggetti, Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway, one of my favorite players of all time, but bro. Not this error, unfortunately. All right, let's keep it moving. So where we are now, 1640, yeah. So kind of tricking, uh, trickling along in the uh, uptown levels. We just got to still keep it, still keep it moving. Man, I'm going to try running it with Jason Kidd. Although Biggie Little's got this, he's got the same steals. He's got the crown on uh, handles, but the dunks, like not being able to have him dunk or have any sort of body power is really not helping. So let's see how we go here. Ray Allen, Gary Payton, Eddie Griffin. Casual. Two zip. There we go. Ah, I tried to dive for the ball, didn't get it that time. Oof. I didn't expect that. Bang! Bro, taking victims. Jason Kidd, bro. Chopping it. Ooh. Ah. Ah, dude. Dude. Hey, yo. 2 4, and they're already on their first level game breaker. Damn it. I think, I think me hitting that long range, my player being me, uh, was the sort of catalyst that was allowing me to stay in front. Damn. Damn, Ray 
Allen, bro. Spraying off. 2 5. There we go. 4 5. Got to use that long range shot to make sure that I can still stay in contention and still rack up points where I can on the handle by doing things like. Not like that. I was trying to throw it off the backboard. Moving. Get out of here. Oh, lucky. There we go. 6 5, taking lives. Oof. Oh no. I really gotta keep an eye on that because it's Ray Allen. One of the greatest shooters of all time. Can't leave him open. Hey, yo! There we go. Man. Ah! Try to catch that. 6 7. Bro, come on, stretch. What are you doing to me, bro? Ah, damn it. 6 8. Woof! Take that. Woof! Nervous. <laughs> Bouncing all over the place that time. Long range lane on. Damn it. 7 10. Really trying to make sure that I still capitalize on any opportunity I can to get an open bucket that's going to give me that. Uh, that's going to give me that sort of security blanket of being able to hit like a complex dunk. Because I'm trying not to just dunk on dudes because it's a bit of a gamble. Woo! Banks open. 10 11. All right, 10, 12. Oh, dude. Lucky. Quick one. 11, 12. Still keeping it close. Oh. There we go. 12, 12. And I'm pushing it for Game Breaker. I'm like right neck and neck with them. They're still taking it to me though. Oh no. Oh dude, no. 12-15. Oof. 13, 15. I'm right at that point for the for the game breaker, but I still could reach it. If I can't be too casual. Whew. 15, 17. Still keeping it interesting and close. Okay. 15, 18. I need to get this game breaker soon. Not like that. 15, 19. I think it's... Oh, damn. That's it. That's the game. Damn. I was trying to force the close range. Finished it. It was a really good game though. Really good game. Just... Man, didn't capitalize on some of those opportunities. I think that team, though, was a good team. Uh, the the sort of setup that I had of that team. So let's just keep that moving forward. I think that just seems to be working. And my idea of trying to maximize on the long ranges and take the most out of the uh, uh, close-up uh, 
sort of high difficulty dunks. Still seems to be a really good idea that's working. All right. Nick Van Exel, Malik Rose, Byron Russell, or Brian Russell. Oh no. Oh no. Take that. Push that. Head fake. There we go. There we go. Alright. There we go. This is what I was talking about. Just trying to, you know, not make it difficult. Ah, damn. There we go. Four one. Try to push that out. Try to push that lead out. change the I keep <laughs> I seem to keep doing like almost the same dunk <laughs> that was a dope battle you too there we go 6-2 I'm getting close to the game breaker as well so that's good For that dunk, though. Oh no! Sometimes these animations just look so dope because of the fact that you got these like movements taking place, and it's almost like they're reacting to your move or you're reacting to their move. You know, so it's dope. Oh damn! Thank you. Easy. Eight four. Now. Ah. Still trying to make sure that. Oh no. Good cleanup. I'm still trying to make sure that I'm making. Oh no. Dude. Making me nervous, I'm focusing on the game. <laughs> Nine five. Take that. Push. Head fake. There we go, baby. Ten five. First game breaker. Uh, I'm gonna pocket this. Get my hands on it. Give him open lane. Shit. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, lucky. Because of the fact that I've taken the volume off, and I mentioned this on a previous episode because it was all about the copyright bullshit. I can't hear it, and now it's 10 7, and they're getting close to theirs because I was so worried. Ah! 10, 8. I just let them back in. On his head. Nick Van Axel, bro. You ain't ready. Oh, no. There we go. 12, 9. Still got the lead, though. Just got to make sure that I retain it. No. 
both 11. That's that quick rebound, bro. That quick rebound. 13-11. But watch out for Nick Nick Van Exel, bro. Like he's just crossing me out. 13-12. Pretty close to these game breakers. Dude, I really hate when it like it glitches like that and gives you that close. Close range shot. Come on, let's go, fellas. There you go. 15, 12. Should have gone for the alley oop too, because Jay Kid jumped up. Oh man. Oh, I blocked it too. Yo! 17, 13. Ah, no. 17, 14. I'm getting pretty close towards the tail end. If I can. Oh, what happened there? If I can keep the game pretty close and still sort of keep on this trajectory for the game breaker points, um, I, I just might be able to pop it. If I can keep my hand on the ball. Dude, stressing. No. Push. There we go. 18-15. Yo. Watch that. Take that. I was worried it was too complex of a dunk. Oh no. Ah shit. Good. Bang. 2017. If I get the ball, bro, I'm literally, I'm just trying to get it up there and hit that game breaker. I'm going to let him take it. Oh, panic. It's always panic as you're bringing it up like that because you're trying to make sure that, you know, you don't lose the ball on that 2017 game. Right. Great way to finish on a game breaker. Gotta love it. Jay Kidd coming through with the alley-oop. 22 to 14. Really good finish. All right, let's keep this moving. Let's keep it moving, bro. Uh, update the team. Yeah, uh, Nick Van Exel, Malik Rose. Nah. I'm still checking everyone, even though you know, I might not update anyone. It just gives me a good opportunity to see if there's anyone out there that's really standing out. Um, but I don't... Th I'm not seeing anyone, really, at this point. So, the Lincoln College Tournament is now available for play in Los Angeles. That's great. But we're going to keep this moving. And stay with Uptown. Actually... Yeah, no. That's what we're doing. 24... For 40. I need two more wins. Two more wins should do it. Oh, I can't seem to win the tip, eh? Oh, damn. Tony McDice. Oh no. Oh damn. 
Same concepts. Worked last time. Damn! Gotta watch out. Oh, shit! There we go. Two, three. There we go. Still trying to focus on making sure I keep the game nice and close. I was really worried. I was really worried he was going to hit that alley-oop on me. Man. Thanks. Give me that! That trickle in! That shooter's bounce, bro! Ah, damn. Five, six. Push that through. Six, six. Pretty much neck and neck. Uh, pretty much neck and neck with these skill breakers. Uh, game breakers. I keep saying fucking skill breaker. I don't know what the deal is, man. Can't seem to sink it into my head. Fake. Oh! As he did that 360, I changed it up to the left because I thought that he was gonna come in and swap the shit out of it. Like that! Come on, boy. Eight, seven. Oh, damn. Why do I. I gotta figure out why it does that. He like goes to do that like it's a it's a tricked jump shot, but I don't want him to do that. I'm trying to get him to dump it off the backboard. Like that, bro. But I wanna alley you. <laughs> That's what I was aiming for. I ain't gonna play, bro. But like, I ain't gonna lie. Give me that long range. God damn it. Okay, I'm too greedy that thing. Push. Bro, what do you mean? Get out of here, bro. Oh, no. Oh, shit. 10 8. Get that. Easy rebound. Easy quick rebound. 11 8. They're nowhere near a game breaker, and I just popped my first. So we need to get that ball back. And make sure that we still keep this game tight, because it is 11-8. Eight, eight. Here we go. Easy now. There we go. 12-9. And I'm like, damn near half on the game. Bro, I went all the way up, bro. Oh, damn. 12-10. Take that. There we go. 13-10. Nothing complicated. Trying to, you know, trying to keep this easy, bro. Hey, yo, get out of here, man. Push through. Oh. Bro, my men came from another continent for that rebound. Oh, shit. 14-12. Bro, they're like really far away from the game breaker, so this is a little bit more comforting. But they're still close for the game. And now they need their first level game break. Alright, 15-13. Doesn't take much to rack up the points for the game breakers, bro, so... Especially if you're doing dumb shit. Oh. 
Trying to rack up them skill points. Alright, 15 14. Let's get into I keep trying to go for them like long range shots because I'm trying to push the lead out because I can see that they're going to get a game breaker and they're going to pull, pull the game back a little bit closer. And I'm not worried because I am going to hit that. Like, I am going to go for a, a, a long range. But. Where we are now, 1911. If I can hit a long range before they get theirs off, I'm literally just trying to back off. It won't matter a thing if I can risk it for the biscuit, bro. Give that. Now we're good. I'm gonna hold on to this now. Me stressed before, bro. Oh, yep. Hold that. Kill the game breaker. There we go. Now we just play. We can do whatever we want. Just trying to. I was really trying to force that long range shot, but since I killed their game breaker, now I. We super chill, bro. What are we gonna do now? Let's go for the... Super Dutch. Ah, no! Alright, it's all good. Take first victim. What you know about that, bro? Second victim. Bro, J Kid, take it, bro. Take it. Take all of them. Take them all. Take them all apart, bro. You're just chopping them. So good. 21 13. That was a great game. Great game. I feel like I'm sort of keeping the rhythm a little bit better. All right. Uh, would you like to update your team with a player from the defeated team? Hell no. Should have checked it, but it's all good. All right. Let's keep this moving, though, man. Same team. Same team, bro. And there's no... um. And there's no skill challenge for this as well. So then once we do this, we're going to move on to the next. The next levels after this are pretty much uh, tournaments. So we're just going to be playing a couple of tournaments on the next episodes. All right. Rich Miller, bro. Rich Miller. And Sam Cassell, the man with the most infamous celebration of all time. People still doing it now. The last person I heard that did it or saw that did it, I should say, was uh, uh, LeBron James. And my man got hit with a 15 grand fine. The big ball celebration. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. All right. So 2-1. Same idea, trying to keep it simple, still stay ahead of the game. They do have a great long range shooter in Reggie Miller too, and I'm pretty sure that Sam Cassell is not going to have a shit shooting um, statistic. I think he's actually going to be pretty good because you know, most of the time these big guys, get out of here bro. Uh, most of the guys, the bigger dudes are going to have you know decent dunks and power. The smaller guys are going to have decent, you know, handles or shots or steals. Yeah, so, 
Just gonna, you know, play the odds. There we go. 6-3. Murray Stoudemire, man, he was so fire. Such a great player. I really liked him when they were running that, um, when he was running with uh, Steve Nash, literally in this era. Um, and I feel like that 12 seconds or less, Mike D'Antoni, um, Steve Nash period was just like a, such a great moving team. And it clearly influenced the league now. You know, you're seeing teams push the pace of the game so much faster now. Um, I remember hearing on an episode of the, one of the JJ Reddick podcasts, because he's actually got a couple. I keep saying the JJ Reddick podcast, but he's got the, some, the old man, something about the old man in a, the JJ Reddick podcast. He's got two. Um, but there's one episode where he's got Steve Nash, and they talk about, you know, their... Ooh! Let me, let me have to stop for a second there, bro. Uh, and he was talking about how you know they pushed it up, and now it's probably really not that fast. So that's kind of good. Listen, if you're uh, a hoop game, eight six, getting close to that game breaker, that level one game breaker. Hey yo, eight seven, first one. Second one. Clean. 9-7. I was hella nervous. <laughs> Didn't think my man was going to take that. Alright. Oh, shit. Ah, no. 9-8. But we're right at that. First level game breaker. Oh, oh damn straight up chaos <laughs> shit get out of here shit I keep trying to like sneak in that long range ah oh, damn he literally just he spayed it as I was trying to. Fuck. Bro, they're like racking up hella skill points now and they're ahead of the game. We gotta calm down. Dude. Alright, fuck. 9 12, gotta stay focused. Pop that long range on me. It's all good because they can take that. What's it going to take them to 14 and 8? Alright, it's not too bad. It's doable. Especially considering I'm going to. If I can fucking get some points though. If I can still keep this game close, I might be able to manage something. Manage a miracle. 9 15. Oof, it's gonna be tough. Like especially since I'm turning that over. Oof. Here we go, 10-16. Front. Oof. 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 Bro. Bro, disrespectful, bro. Hurt my feelings. Oof. 
I think it's up that range. Twelve nineteen, and he's damn near another game breaker. Bro, put too much, put too much stock in that game breaker, bro. Twelve twenty, it ain't gonna happen. Just throwing up prayers now. Oh shit! Shit! Dude, they cooked me with the. They cooked me with on the high grill for the last half of that game, man. I was doing so great. <laughs> Come on, man. We gotta stay in front of this. All right, let's just keep this going, bro. Let's just keep this going. We we just gotta stop making this complicated, bro. Just keep this moving. Don't even stress. Don't even trip. 32-40. This is literally, you win this, and we keep it moving on to the next levels. That's what this is all about. Keep it moving on to the next levels. That's all we got to do. Nick Van Exel, Doug Christie, and Dikembe Mutombo. Yeah, that's you, baby. Yeah. Hey, yo. Fake. Oh, dude. I thought that was a sure fire. Zero two. There we go. If I catch him on the head fake outside, I'm just going to try and use that opportunity to do it. Skill, skill move dunk. You. Head fake, long range. There we go. All right, and I got two guys that can at least shoot the rock. So, damn, bro. Short range. It's all good. Three, four. There we go. Four, four. I don't even remember him playing for the Nets, I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> this must master literally been that Twilight contract, bro. Ring it on, ring it on. Oh no. Shit. Double mistake. 4-7 and they're getting close to that game breaker. That's what I was trying to do all those times before. Ah, shit. 5A. We're not that far apart from Game Breakers, which is good. And the game's pretty close. Uh, spoke too soon. Spoke way too soon. Six ten. Giving him open buckets, man. Shit. Dude. Where's your Damn, six twelve. And they're on the game breaker now. Oh shit. Just throwing the ball away. Damn. They're going for that level one. So last time I tried to go for the level two, it made it really difficult. It made it really difficult because I was nowhere near able to get to that second level. Come on, bro. Shit. Short range, at least. Ten points up, bro. This is... Uh, 
Fucking straight up uphill battle. Bro, I'm even getting stripped from Dikembe Mutombo, bro. There we go, 616. I gotta go for the long range first level. There's no way. There's no way. And even if they. Even if. Damn, bro. This is a straight up blowout now, man. 619. How did I. How did I get here, bro? How did I end up in this position? Seven nineteen, damn, bro. How the hell did I end up here? Damn, seven twenty. All right, whatever. Let's just let's just keep this. Just going overboard now, bro. Hey, let's see if I can. The only person to get a game breaker on a block as they're making the shot. Shit. It's all good. Gonna keep this moving forward. Keep it moving forward. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep focusing on getting to that next spot. I am not gonna finish this episode of Unplugged until your boy gets done with Uptown. I can't do it. Do we change the team up? No. All right, Penny Hardaway, Rafe LaFrance, and Larry Hughes. There we go. Take that. Long range. There we go, baby. Three zip. See, this is the type of stuff that helps them rack up all them points, bro. Get back. Where they're just, you're just trying to get the ball back. You're so panicked. That's where, that's where the mistakes get made, man. Let's get a stop. There we go. 6 1. Shit. Hit me with the tornado. Yeah, get out. Yeah. Watch that long range. Hey. Alright. Watch out now. <laughs> by, the, <laughs> by the skin on his teeth, dude. Shit. Damn. Take that. Get that long. Oh no. Stay in front. There we go. Legs. Head fake. There we go. 9-3. In my game breaker now. I'm in my game breaker. It's all good. 9-5. Bank that. God damn, bro. I thought that was a short fire, I'm not gonna lie. 9 6. Get 
Oof. Bro, I hit him like I straight up gave him a T ball. A T ball set of him to knock it straight out. Quick release. Back through trying to push that ball up. Quick one, quick one. Ah, damn it. 10 8. Still good, still good. 10 9. Damn. Head fake. Come on, man. Keep this moving. There we go. Hit that block. 11 10. They're creeping up to their first game breaker. And I'm still trying to stay alive right now. <laughs> Legs. Or I had to spam that head fake button. Shit, with the change up. Oh, damn. 11-11. There we go. 12-11 now. Still good, still good. I'm getting close to that game breaker, but... I'm gonna make sure that I, I do... I, I, I just execute. That's the main thing, executing right now. Still staying in front. 13, 12. I'm getting really, really close to that game breaker, dude. Really close. I just want to get to that game breaker, hit that long range game breaker, and push the game out. Because I am worried that they're getting real close to this. That we might sort of end up in the same sort of pocket of space. Oh no, dude. Push that. There we go. 14, 13. Points on the board. Points on the board. Hey, yo. 14, 14. Let's see if I can kill this. the long range it's all good one two 13 16 I'm still gonna be able to claw this right back after I hit that six point swing damn shit push there we go 14 16 Really need to stop the ball. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Let's get this around. All right, where we are now? 16-12. Okay. And we're both reset back to nothing for game breakers because we were just so close to each other. Push. Ah, damn it. I thought I'd grab that rebound, eh? Push that pick. Push. Head fake. Really just trying to really stretch that out. There we go. 
17, 13. Easy buckets. There we go, push that. Oof, nervous with that floater. 18, 13. Getting close. Just gotta wrap this game up. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Bang on him! Alright, 19, 13. Oof. Hey, yo. 19, 14. Now, do I try and go for the long range? I think I do. Contain the ball, though. Shouldn't have done that. Get out of here. 19-15. Oh, just keep it moving. Oof. There we go. 20-15. Ah. Didn't have any juice left to hit that die. Shit. Long range. Let's go stretch. Close it out. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All right. Man. That was rough. That last one had me a little nervous. But that's all good. All good. So you know what I think I might do? Real quick, let's just take stock of where we are at. Before we do that, let's check and see if we're going to take any players. So Penny Hardaway, Rafe LaFrance. Um, let's just compare Rafe. So down on power, but up on shots. Equal blocks, steals, uh, less handles, same rebounds. So I'm basically sacrificing for the long range. Everything else is pretty much the same. I mean, the long range does help. And everything else is pretty much the same, with the exception of handles. It doesn't really make, you know, it's one bar. It's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a last little upgrade to the player before we wrap up and just check, you know, check where we're at. So let's go ahead and bump up them dunks. Let's max it out. Let's max out rebounds. That leaves us literally with power and blocks, and then we literally cannot upgrade anymore. So that's great. All right. So let's get out of here now. And let's just go and take a little sweep of the land. Let's take a little sweep of the land. See where we are at and see what we've got left. So we know we've got Rucker Park left. Uh, Chicago, we already did that. We already did Philly. So we've literally got Seattle and LA. Now this is the tournament that's inside the court as an indoor court. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is against Dime, which is the female team. And Seattle has got this a uh, big dude with a headband. Pretty sure that shoots. Oh, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to pick one of them. We're going to ponder on which one I'm going to do. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Let's come back next week. Let's ride this momentum. And let's crush out one of these tournaments in one go. I want to see if I can crush it out in one go. No stress. Just bang, bang, bang. No losses or dubs. See if I can do it. Until next time, take care of yourself, guys. All right. Peace.